Good. Don't worry, guys. Good. Doing well. How are you? Good. All right. Well, very excited to talk about the two new additions to the Cleveland Browns. Uh, we certainly got a lot bigger this afternoon, adding Dewan Jones from Ohio State and Isaiah McGuire, defensive lineman uh, from the University of Missouri. So, um, really, like with Dewan, you know, we've seen him for a couple of years. Obviously, he's had a very good career at Ohio State. Uh, massive human being. I think you guys will really enjoy him when you get to stand next to him and, and talk with him and see what he's all about. So he's um, a player that we're very excited about. You know, it's, it's a premium position, offensive tackle for us, and we're excited to, to get him in the building. And then really both guys, you can never have enough pass rushers or tackles. Um, so we're very excited to get both where we're able to scoop them up in the draft. So with, with that, I'll open it up to questions. Juan kind of bounced around a little bit at Ohio State. He was on the side, I think, initially, and then went to the right. Do you see him as kind of a swing guy that could help you guys on both sides? Yeah, I would say it always helps uh, when guys have played both, you know, both positions in college and move you know, the added versatility is a bonus. Um, you know, really, like I said, it's, it's a premium position for us. So giving him to Bill and Scott, I think, um, who, you know, he was probably the two best O-line guys in the league, in my opinion. Um, you know, very excited about how he can grow as a player and continue to develop. And um, any versatility added is a huge bonus for That's us amazing. as we, you know, yeah, go through the in year. In the draft process, did you guys take an effort to see whether he loves football enough to make it his profession? Seem to be some question over basketball and football. Yeah, Tony, we've uh, we spent you know some time with him through the spring process. Um, very comfortable with um, you know taking him where we took him. I mean, realistically, we've spent a good amount of time with him. Um, the Ohio State program has been great to us through the years. Um, you know, sharing information, and we're, we're very comfortable with our process with the person, and we're excited to, to get him in. And really, you know, you give a guy like this to, to Bill and Scott, and you know, work our process here. We're pretty excited about where he can where he can be as a player. So. Size. size seems to be a theme in this draft. Uh, was there something in your offseason evaluation where you guys felt that you just you needed to add some more of that to this? Well, this this happens to be the biggest human I've ever seen, so it's kind of a unique circumstance. Um, I wouldn't say it's been a it, it's been a theme. It's really how the board's fallen. You know, we're very active with trade calls, um, and really we're trying to take. The best consensus players that we can, you know, with with our coaching staff, with our scouting staff, excuse me, scouting staff, and with football research, um, and feel, you know, the way things have fallen, we're obviously very happy with. Um, you know, again, adding to the defensive line and offensive line are are two very important things for us, really every year if we can. So excited to get these guys where we can. What stands out to you about McGuire? Yeah, Isaiah is a long defensive end. Um, you know, with some good pass rush upside. Again, a guy that we view as, you know, potentially having inside outside rush flex. Um, you know, we're going to be in attacking up the field defense and looking forward to seeing him rush off the edge. Uh, we do think, you know, he eventually has the ability to rush inside as well. So, um, high motor player who's been very productive in the SEC and, again, excited to add to the D line any chance we get, just like the O line room as well. So. Follow up on that, just the fact that he was so productive in the SEC and in that conference. How much does that weigh when you're evaluating him? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you want to see guys play against the best competition, and we're able to, able to do that really with both players. Both guys have played against the highest level of competition. Dwan, you know, had a really good game against Georgia um, and has had, you know, a lot of really good tape out there the last couple of years. Isaiah, you know, really, in my opinion, um, in our group's opinion, came into his own this year. Uh, particularly in the pass rush side of things. And like I said, any, any chance we get to add a defensive lineman we're excited about who's produced against the best, it only only adds to it. So we're excited. And you talked about Jim Schwartz's attacking style, and you just mentioned it. Mm -hmm. Was it a big shift in how you went about scouting guys, knowing you know, Jim likes to attack? No. I'll look, I mean, you guys will hear Coach Schwartz talk a lot um, about what he coaches the, the defensive line to do. Um, and it's really go mess you know what up. So um, Isaiah is a guy that we think can do that. Um, again, he's proven it against the best players in the country. Um, and really, the skill set overall just fits what we do really well. So um, you know, to get him in the fourth round, we're really excited. We're at Ohio State's Pro Day. How, how big is this? Team? You guys will see in person. So to give you a funny story um, on Dewan, so I was, uh, happened to be scouting him 
two years ago at the Oregon game, uh, which is, I believe, the first game of the season for the Buckeyes that year. And I had an unknown or an unnamed family member uh, watching the game, and they were like, who is the right tackle? That's the biggest human being I've ever seen. And that was my first exposure to Dewan up close, and I would second, second that. So um, to see a guy that big that moves that well, um, you know, again, really excited to, to get him in the mix. So. On yeah, the left side good. as well, can he flip flop and play? Yeah, he's, he's moved around. Um, I think it's you know again the added versatility of, of anything um, with offensive linemen is a yeah, bonus for us. Yeah, I would I would say he absolutely does. The good thing about Duan, for a guy his size, he's so nimble and agile. Um, I think if you guys watch his high school basketball highlights, you'll, you'll probably see how he moves. Um, you know, there's a lot of good highlights of him out there pulling, doing things that we ask our guys to do. Um, and really, like, again, for a guy that size, the, the athleticism and the quickness really stands out on tape. So we think he can do a lot of things well that we do in our system. And again, look, really looking forward to seeing him develop as a player. You mentioned Isaiah as a, as a pass rusher, but what about, you know, against the run? How, how have you seen him you know, stack up? Yeah, very good. Very good run player, in our opinion. Um, you know, a guy, again, that has length, that has power in his body. Um, you know, a younger guy that's going to continue to develop and add more strength and, and quickness and, and power. Um, so, you know, really, like, the baseline for him, we think, is, is really good in the run game. And then he really turned it on this year as a pass rusher. So, view him as a versatile, you know, wave player who's going to come in and compete to contribute pretty early. So. Been supplanted as the best basketball player on the roster. <laughs> That would be a great one-on-one -on -one game. You guys can go ahead and set that up uh, this spring. It would be fun to watch. So, both guys got some pretty good highlight tapes out there. So, you good. Good. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody.